the Health Sciences Academy was founded in 2019. It is a two-week program here at EVMS. It was philanthropically funded and its goal is to expose high school students to a variety of careers in the health sciences. The Health Sciences Academy is an opportunity for young high school students to learn about all different types of healthcare. It's not just being a physician or a nurse. It's an opportunity to allow them to know there's so much more in healthcare. So in 2019, we were partnering with Portsmouth Public Schools. Thanks to another donor coming on board, we were able to expand it over to Northampton High School on the Eastern Shore. We had heard that they were going to be expanding the program and were thinking about other locations, and we just mentioned that Eastern Shore. Because of the ruralness of the area and the students don't get exposed to an awful lot. So this program has been absolutely great for our kids. So having them come over here and the hands-on, being on the medical campus alone has been great. I've never been inside a medical school before. So this is my first time. This experience has been helping me, honestly, because being here has had me open up about becoming a healthcare worker. When you want to focus on a health sciences career, you want to focus on really the pathway of how to get there is very, very important. And that's really one of the reasons why we have the academy here, so we can teach students as early as possible how to get to their end goal. In seventh grade, we took a career test, and I scored high on the health career field, and uh, that piqued my interest. I've never been to a medical school before. I never knew there was this many people in the medical field until I came here and I learned all the different things and how much training it is behind it. So after I graduate high school, I want to go to a four-year college and then come to EVMS, and then I want to become a PA. I think my favorite part about the Health Sciences Academy is watching the students on the hands-on experiences. So here we are the first day, we're learning suturing. The fact that they're able to take these very practical techniques and, you know, grow it and, you know, use it later on if they decide to go that route um, is really amazing. I learned how to do it and um, it was fun. Today we did three stations. There was one called BCON, which is blood control, how to stop bleeding. The second station was going over surgery and like surgical techniques. And in the third station, we learn how to wrap the cast around our arms and stuff, how to do it the right, correctly way. Today we did bystander CPR. We basically put one hand down and we covered the hand. We made sure our heel of our hand was connected to the middle of the chest and we had to pump. We just did like real life situations. Bystander CPR I think is just an important thing. Being out in the community, you never know what can happen. And so the more people that are trained, the better. Today we went through ultrasounds and how they work in general. It's something that I didn't really know much about. It opened my eyes to another wing of the science field. Ultrasound was very interesting. We'd been talking about it since like the first day because we were all so excited to do it. Working with the EVMS students was very exciting and hands-on because they were very descriptive in what you needed to know. They didn't overshare so you didn't get scared. Today we split into different groups and went into a room with standardized patients and they pretended like needed to be examined and we examined different parts of their body. Some of them acted as if they were sick and then we tried to figure out like what's wrong with their body and how we can help. So for the final project we've asked all the kids to kind of pick a career and then focus on that and kind of outline what it would take to get into that career. Everything that involves, you know, like different qualities that you would need in order to be good at that profession. And they've summed them up on trifolds and they are gonna present them to some of the donors and the faculty. But today, it's really exciting to see what the young adults have learned. So we're able to actually put everything together and understand all the different aspects of medicine. It gave me an opportunity to talk to the students to see their interests. I think, on a whole, everybody was interested. They were extremely excited about the program, just seeing the various areas, because I guess I heard a lot of the students say they had no idea of the various areas of healthcare. And to see them having grown just in these past two weeks, it lets us know where we're helping, where we can help. We're very appreciative of our donors. This program wouldn't be here without them. If I had anything to say to the donors of this health sciences program, I would say thank you. It's eye-opening. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful for your donorship and everything that you've done for me. It's a great experience. I'm very grateful that we even had the opportunity just to come each day. And so we're truly grateful for it. 
We didn't have this program. I would say like when I go into the medical school, I want to be ready. I think the donors really are like changing our lives because we're able to see what we do like. And I think this is really like opening up the doors to our futures and seeing what we want to do.